Hey everyone, it's Casual, and today we're going to look at all the different ways that you can use a redstone repeater. To craft a repeater, we're going to need three stones, two sticks, and three redstone dust. Start by crafting the redstone dust and the stick into redstone torches, and then place the items in the crafting table like this. The first and probably most common way to use a redstone repeater is by extending a signal strength. The signal strength starts at 15 and diminishes all the way down to 1. So to extend it, we'll put a repeater where the redstone signal runs out. You'll see as I toggle this, the lamp has a one tick delay. We'll talk about repeater delays in a little bit, there's really no way around this. Here's another example of a redstone line that's too far to reach the lamp. We'll put a repeater in line so that the lamp turns on. There's a feature of the repeater called locking. By putting another repeater into the side of the first repeater, we can lock the repeater in an on or an off position. Here we lock the repeater in the on position so the lamp can't be turned off. But if we remove the lock, we can lock it in the off state as well. This is signified by a bedrock lock showing up on the repeater surface. The switch on the right will now toggle the lock state of the first repeater. Here's an example of a redstone circuit where the circuits are too close together and they're interfering with each other. I'd like each switch to control each lamp separately, but right now both switches affect both lamps. So if we change this first redstone to a repeater, we can isolate each switch. The repeater acts like a diode where it can only take a signal in the back and send it out the front. The repeater has a redstone torch on it that can be toggled to set the delay of the repeater. Right clicking on a repeater will set the delay to 1, 2, 3, or 4 ticks. Here I have 4 repeaters, the first set to 1 tick, then 2 ticks, 3 ticks, and 4 ticks. When I flick the switch, you'll see a delay between all the lamps. You can stack this delay by putting multiple repeaters in line. Here I have 5 repeaters all set to 4 ticks, which will give us a 20 tick delay when we flip this switch. Using this idea, you can create a simple redstone clock. Here we have 6 repeaters set to 4 tick delays in a circle. We can send a short pulse into this circuit and it'll create a clock. You can't leave this circuit on though, because the delay of the repeaters will prevent it from turning off. So if this happens to you, we can drain the repeaters by removing the redstone dust, rebuild, and put a short pulse into the clock. Opaque blocks like this yellow concrete can be either soft powered or hard powered. When a redstone signal runs directly into the block, the block becomes soft power. Soft powered blocks can't power other redstone lines, which is why the second lamp isn't lighting up. We can hard power this first block by putting a repeater right into it. This will cause the second lamp to light. You can also get the same effect by pulling a signal from the soft powered block. A repeater can pull a signal from a soft powered block and convert it into a full signal. Here's another setup of a redstone clock using a repeater. In this example, the torch sends a signal to the redstone line and the signal gets amplified by the repeater into the block. The block becomes hard powered and toggles the torch. You can adjust the speed of this clock by adding more repeaters and changing the tick setting on the repeater. By adding a soft powered block before the repeater and hard powering a block after it, we can add two free lengths to our redstone line. You'll see if I remove this setup and add just a repeater, the original signal strength wouldn't have reached. It would be two blocks too short. So we'll move this repeater ahead again, put a block before and after it, and now you'll see the lamp turns on. Hopefully you learned something new about redstone repeaters. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. 
See you next time.